money to fix uh, some bridges, to fix some roads, to fix this, to fix that. So I saw him uh, in a boat uh, today, and they said he's inspecting Third Mainland Bridge on the. Let me show you. <laughs> Work. Ah, Devulu Mayu wants to show us what he used the money for. He has not been asked what he used the 2024 budget for yet, too, but that particular one, he needed to show working. And yeah, let's fix it before any disaster happens. Finally. Don't know any, any of you that poked the beer and made Isaac Fauleche or Isaac Fauleche, the uh, Peter Ayo Fauleche uh, brother. Yeah, he's in London. And the guy was like, yeah, I shared names, you know, I shared names with my brother, but we are not that close. We are not friends. This guy has made our mom cry. That's the, you know, his brother, the former governor of Ekiti. So I think there's someone now saying that uh, he is what he is because of his brother, okay? That when his brother was governor of the state, they looted the state together. And he said, okay, can you please, this may be a free money for you, because if, if I get uh, proof now, I go drop and all that money. He's, he's here in the UK now. So, you know, he talks about his uh, estate in Abuja. He said he's a very successful guy. Unfortunately, there is no way you're going to look at uh, the fire shades and you'll be like, no, they, don't, they didn't become rich uh, because their brother was once governor of the state. And he said, no, I wasn't like, no. But your family was never rich. I remember when Fowler Shea was using, but they were not poor either because the story of Fowler Shea was that uh, he was giving free water to people of the states. And that was why the Ekiti people voted for him to be governor of Ekiti State. So, and then he robbed them, stole over 6.8 billion era from them. That he is still in court right now with the EFCC. But his brother Isaac was like, no, I wasn't part of that. I was never part of that. I've had my life all along. I've had my successes all along. But... If any of you can prove that I collected any contracts when my brother was governor, I will give you 50 million. So if any of you have the evidence, eh, you can send it to me because if me, I have the evidence, I will post it and I will chase it or collect the 50 million on your behalf. We can share it. 50, 50, 25, 25 million. In his own world, let's put it on record. Many of you come and say I'm spending a kitty money. My brother did not give me any single job as a governor 
I repeat, and I'm saying it boldly, if any of you can find where I get one single contract from my brother, I will give you 50 million. All of you, even my success in life, you attach it to a kitty, to my brother. It is a fat lie. We never, ever, I personally didn't take any single contract from my brother. Any single, you should come out and say it boldly. You should say it, you should come out anywhere they see me or see my name or my company take contract from a kitty. I've never, I'm not a contractor. I'm a trader, I'm a businessman. I've always believed in me working. But anywhere I go, he said he's spending a kitty money. He's spending a kitty money. We cover it because it doesn't matter. But right now, that they are now trying to say, no, you cannot talk. You should shut up. You should do this. No, I will talk. I will stand for Ekiti people as long as I, I am alive. Ekiti must come out of this low life. How can you be taking, taking a jumbo allocation and the state is in a mess? I will not leave my people to suffer. If this is the last fight I'm going to fight, I will stand with the people. That is the fact. Many of you come. I seek. And I support you until I have that evidence too. Listen, if you have it, don't go and post it on social media where another person go carry ammo. Come and give it to my own. Let's have a deal. I will chase it down for you. 50 million era is not chicken change. So if you have any evidence that he's not saying the truth, I mean, you know, let's make something out of that. Anyway, uh, Sunday diary that uh, Technobu just hired to help plunder his image and possibly keep pushing the narrative that Technobu, eh? we know they sleep, oh. he means well. Then he stumbled on another agenda today. When people said that the uh, majority of those appointees of Tifnubu are Jurubas. So he put out, he put out uh, a rejoinder or a disclaimer. Now saying so he can shoot himself for leg. So according to him, the Northwest people are the highest number in Tifnubu's government, which is... And then the next is uh, Southwest, the Yorubas. The least people appointed by Tifnumbu are the Yugos, one. As well as the, the South South, so people can enter around. I'll show you the list. Director General of NIA. Commandant General of uh, NSCDC. Controller General of Federal Fire Service. Controller General of Nigeria Immigration. Now you can look on, come on, read them. I don't have to read everything. Or you can just go and check at the list down there. 854311. You were like, uh, right. The Igbos and the South South. How does this represent equal representation, federal character in Nigeria? How? Eh? So it backfired. Okay. And they are now saying that Shebi Bukwari did worse. No, Bukwari didn't do worse. Bukwari laid the precedence for this. In Nigeria, where your man is there, it is your turn. 80% of Tifnubu's appointees are Yorubas. That doesn't make them representing the Yorubas. They are representing themselves. They don't represent me. They don't represent any Yoruba there. It's just themselves. It's their turn. So when they go back to when they get the power in the north again, you have them everywhere too. Because it is their turn too. Nigeria is a turn by turn Nigeria limited. So that's where we're going to draw the curtains this evening. I am going to take a calls, but you see that segment of phone call as a reminder is sponsored by Jarosulala Digital. 
a supposed digital advertising uh, company that trains you if you are looking to uh, possibly to start something as your own site also where you have uh, a life that currently it's not really giving you a promising sort of a retirement or a promising uh, a financial uh, breakthrough, so to say. And like I said last night, and thanks to those of you who checked it out, okay? If you are looking for a business opportunity where you can try something that gives you enough time for yourself, I'm talking about uh, if you are, I don't think it should be called a side also because this is something that could actually give you a six figure uh you know uh, return uh and it is not an investment of mmm like get rich quick no it's not mmm okay so this one has to do with if you are interested in being trained okay on how to kind of uh, maximize uh, maximize the opportunity of the digital marketing there are those who are doing it it's not my you know it's not my area so to say so i'll come back and tell you more once we uh, return after this break yeah. So to those of you who checked it out yesterday, I got a report that uh, I was even a subscriber. Remember what I told you? You need to have uh, primarily you need to have at least hundred and forty nine dollars to subscribe. And if you try it after a week or two and you feel like, no, I don't think this is for me. You will get every of your money by every penny will be refunded back to you. Just make sure that uh, you do not ask for a refund after a month because after a month, you can't get your money back okay but it won't take you that long before you know if this is for you or if it's not for you and i won't have you participate in something that is uh shady it is legit or you just have to kind of have enough time to invest in it i'm talking about in yourself it's not you giving somebody money to go and make money for you you have to do it yourself and you will be trained on how to do that hmm? i will be back in a minute. is me back so quickly like i said the next uh, half uh, you know half an hour of this uh, segment is uh, indeed sponsored by the yara cellular uh, digital put it that way i'll leave it on the screen for anyone who wants to check them out okay to start with right 
you see this the uh, this uh, uh barcode right if you put your phone in front of it right you can scan the link to the website of uh, this uh, sponsor and then you can read more so let's say you know um like if you are a parent mm, struggling to care for your children because uh, you need to work like those who really work a lot two three shifts or two three jobs to just pay bills in this day and time where a lot of us actually work so much but there is little to those who are probably not having this uh, job security enough that every day you worry about uh, being like it could be your last day at work there are those who actually really face that kind of a dilemma every day or maybe you are a retiree someone who has uh, you know who is a retiree as we speak and you know life seems to be a little bit boring well, thanks to my Yogun's diary political, you can come here and unwind. But if you want to learn any new uh, sort of any new skill in this day and time where uh, everywhere everything is going digital, okay, if you're looking to make uh, an extra money, legit, this is not like an MMM, like I said, all right, or you are looking for a business opportunity to try something new again, where you can indeed be trained on uh, what and what. You could do with your time and not just that okay with your money now this could be an opportunity for you on my Egun's diary political yarosulu uh, digital so to say they are there to give you that uh, shot at it that shot just simply means if you have a uh, hundred and forty nine dollars which will register you or sign you up now you get an opportunity to open a portal to everything you need to learn about uh, this I may not be able to tell you everything as you know as it's required. You have to find out yourself. And as it is, it's called a digital marketing uh, uh, stuff. Okay, you will be trained. You will meet other people who are like experts in this field, all right? And you are not too old or too young to uh, learn a new skill of uh, making money legitimately. And if you feel like uh, mm, no, this is not for me, you will get every penny of yours back. Like I said, I got a report yesterday that some of you actually really checked it out. Yeah, that's interesting. I like that. And I know that some of you will do this based on trust. I trust my ego. And because I know that you won't lose a penny. That is why I allowed it on my platform. I checked it out myself. Yeah, I got signed up. I signed up and just to kind of understand it. Okay. But because I have so much that I am currently doing. It will take me away from you. All right. Not because I don't want to make money, or maybe I'm still going to probably sign up myself. But just check it out. If you think it's not for you, right? You can always get your money back. Now, the bottom line is that uh, when I say business opportunity, I'm talking about uh, you possibly investing your own uh, money. And like I said, it's not you giving people your money, right? It is uh, digital marketing, so to say. All right. And uh, Maybe you come back and thank me. Or the other way, you just come back and say, Mayegun, that's not for me. Show me something else. I think this one might be for you. As I have checked, you do not even have to be uh, this so much educated, this and that, before you can try it out. You will be trained from the scratch, right? You will have your own uh, digital presence, which is uh, your own uh, personal website which your own uh, customers will probably will come to and pick things up as well. It's quite interesting. Last time I checked it, give it a shot. So if you are interested, all you have to do to read further is what? Try this uh, barcode on your screen with your phone right now. And then read on. Contact uh, you know, uh, this uh, a business, contact them and ask questions. And if you think it's a good thing you want to try out, right? Good luck. So again, they are the sponsor for this uh, segment and we can take our course now. Yeah, don't worry, I'll get better. I have never really done much adverts, okay? But we need, I have, you know, I've told you, I take adverts now. But I will make sure that it never interferes with uh, what we do, the presentations and every other thing, okay? But the moment we get to the call uh, segments, I can always introduce the any kind of business opportunity to you, if it's business opportunity, or even sell you what I think you might be interested in, in checking, not just, you know, just the services or, 
you know. Anyway, thanks so much. I have a caller, my first caller this evening. Hello there. Hello, good evening, my Oh, good How are you evening doing? to you, sir. How are you? I'm fine. It's been a while. I know. You're looking you're looking better. I'm always oh. checking your eye to see if it's okay. <laughs> yeah, see now, I've got this, now. I've got this uh, smile I have mastered. And some people mm -hmm. don't like it. They believe that I should be frowning. Things are serious. My ego, stop, stop smiling. It's like, I won't. I have to. Nah. To smile. Whether you whether you smile, whether you get upset, what will happen will happen. Like I said, uh, keep 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 chopping at the tree. Keep chopping the tree. I will. I will. Keep chopping the tree. The tree the tree is beginning to manifest itself. If you remember what I said a couple of weeks ago, I said yes. You used to say something. Let me use your own word. You say the people that brought us to where we are today will not be part of the people to change. They will not to take us to where we are going. Solution. No. <clears throat> However. Me, I add one to it. I said, the people that brought us to here will be part of the people that will destroy the system so that we can get to where we need to get to. Amen. That's amen. Because we that are outside trying to get a better Nigeria <clears throat> do not know how bad it is because the people inside know how bad they've made it look like. True. A typical example is what is happening last will happen last week. The Nigerian state decided to send people that are less than 10 years old to, to prison and stay for two months or three months. And I keep telling if you remember when we wanted to have that uh, protest, I said the protest has to be spontaneous across the country at the same time. Unfortunately, it didn't do that way because it wasn't planned. It was just trying to get people to come outside. Now, the problem we always have as a country or as a black race is whenever somebody in my Igbo friends used to say, Meaning that you don't leave your brothers behind. Mm. But the Nigerian states and Nigerian people have continuously left their brothers behind. What I'm by their brothers behind, people had answers. During answers, some people were arrested. Up to today, some people don't even know how many people were arrested. That creates doubt in the in Thank you. That creates doubt in the next set of people that are gonna come outside. During Abiola time, when Abiola won that election, people are arrested. Up to today, nobody knows what happened to them afterwards. Before that, Abacha must go protest. Some people were arrested. You know, we have to get to a point where when somebody gets arrested or somebody gets taken by the state, the state gets shut down until that person is released. Until the state realizes that you have power to stop all economic activity and you value yourself more than any economic activity, the state will continue to punish you. The fear of the average Nigerian is, oh, if I protest now, what in my Peking go chop? What in your Peking go chop? Today, like you, my ego will tell you something. They say, yes, to, yesterday's victims survivors. were day before yesterday's survivors. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Today's victim were yesterday's survivors. So that thing you're trying to chop today, and for you, you chop for your Peking will chop tomorrow. You're enabling the state to continue to do what it's doing without knowing. And until people start understanding that part of education, that you have to get to your point in terms and say, listen, I know they're hungry, they catch me, but guy, if not this is your food, you go give me because they insult me, keep your food. I'd rather, I'd rather sit down for my house, die of hunger. That person that holds that food begin to realize, wait, oh, you have more than just food as your need. And to come to add to that, what they did to those children have created, the northern elites now have no room to make noise. Oh, and by they have no one to make noise is because Tinubu have shown them that listen, I can do whatever I want. I went to Kano, I went to Kaduna, and I pick up these boys and I put them in jail for two, three months. You guys have not said anything. So next time it's going to be what the next level of people. These are the poor people. They're going to go to middle class next. They're going to go to the political elites and until they take over everybody. But on the issue of giving power. I will keep tell, I will keep saying it. They are trying to create a system where it's an oligarch system. Mr. Wiki is delivering on the judicial side. He's delivering on the money from from River State, which are going to use for their next election. Um, Akpabio is holding on to the other south south part of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Tinubu control southwest. They are trying to get Uzodima to control south southeast. It's going to get to a point where Tinubu will have all his men across. 
Keep and by taking answer. these children, he's just poking the nut to see who is going to complain. If you notice, since they broadcasted those children like yesterday or two days ago, no northern politician, apart from Atiku, has come outside to make a noise. The rest are just going under the radar. Because once you talk now, they'll say, oh, you're part of the person sponsoring them and they're going to pick you up. That's the next stage he wants to get to. He wants to get to a point where he will take on the northern elite and remove all of them one by one. Because they are the stumbling block to the 2027 election. You start noticing that now he'll be poking them by appointment or by everything. You know, and Nuhu Rubadu is the person he's going to hand over to, based on my own calculation. He's not handing over to any other person. He's handing over to Nuhu Rubadu after 2031 or whatever time he's going to leave. He's going to find Nuhu Rubadu as his anointed. By then, you know. Yeah, he's just keeping him quiet. He's showing him how the defense works.